Hello and welcome. In today's class, we'll be looking at Pan-Grammatic Lipogram program that has appeared in ISC Computer Science Sample Paper 2026. The name might appear a bit scary, but actually the program is very simple. So let's try to understand the question. So in this question, we have to write a program to accept a sentence which may be terminated by either a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark. And the words may be separated by a single blank space and should be case insensitive. Now we have to perform the following tasks. If the sentence is a pangram, now what is a pangram? A sentence or a phrase that uses every letter of the alphabet at least once, then it is a pangram. If it misses exactly one letter of the alphabet, then we print pangrammatic lipogram and we also highlight or we also display the missing letter. So when only one letter is missing from the English alphabet, we print pangrammatic lipogram. And if the sentence is neither of the two, it is neither a pangram nor a pangrammatic lipogram, then we print neither and we also list all the missing letters in the alphabet, English alphabet. And we need to test our program with the following data and some random data. So here is example one. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And in this example, all the letters of the English alphabet are included. So that's why we print it as a pangram. In the second example, a quick movement of the enemy will jeopardize bright fonts. Only one letter X is missing. So that is why it's pangrammatic lipogram. And we also display the missing letter X. In example three, it is neither of the two. So it is neither a pangram nor a pangrammatic lipogram. Hello world. So we print neither and we also display all the letters that are missing. And finally, if the sentence is not terminating with a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark, then we display invalid input. So that's the question. Let's now try to understand the program. So here is the program. I have created a class pangram and then we have the main function and here we are inputting the sentence in a variable s and we have also converted the sentence into lowercase. And then we are extracting the last character from the string. So we are using the caret function and we know that the position of the last character is length minus one and that's why we use that position to extract the last character. Once we have extracted the last character, we check whether last is none of these characters, full stop, question mark or exclamation mark. In that case, we print invalid input and we return. Because index of returns minus one when the character is not found in the given string. So in this string, we have three characters and if last is not one of these, then index of will return minus one and we will understand that the string is not terminating with a full stop question mark exclamation mark and so we print invalid input and we return. Otherwise, if the string is valid, then we take a counter variable missing, which is set to zero initially and this counter is going to count how many missing alphabets were there. And we also have a string M to store all the characters that are missing or all the letters of the English alphabet that are missing. So right now it's empty. And now we run a loop from small a to small z. And we check if each of these characters are missing or not in the given string S using the same method index of. So if this alphabet is not found in string S, it will once again return minus one. And we'll understand that this particular alphabet is missing. And so the counter missing increments. And we also add that character in our string M because that will be the missing alphabet. Now, once this loop ends, we will have the total number of missing characters or missing alphabets. So if missing is zero, that means no missing alphabets were there. Then we conclude that it is a pangram. But if there is only one missing letter, then we print pangrammatic lipogram. 
and we also print the missing letter. And if it is neither of the two, then we print neither and we also print the string itself, which contains all the concatenated alphabets uh, that are missing in the string. So it's a very simple program. Let's now check the output. So the first sentence is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So it is a pangram because all the alphabets are included. Next, a quick movement of the enemy will jeopardize bright fonts. So it is a pangrammatic lipogram and the missing letter X is also displayed. And if we print hello world, then it is neither of the two and we print all the missing alphabets. And finally, alas, it failed and we end with hash sign and so it prints invalid input. So that's how we can solve this program. I'm sure you found it very easy. So that's all for today and thank you for watching.